guys, welcome back to Nature's Cadence Farm. We're here at the farm today and we're working in the kitchen again. Um, you can see here I've got the, the new laminate floor down and a new air vent obviously. And uh, we matched the same exact floor that we used in the living room to the kitchen. And I uh, tried to line up the little seams over there and everything looks great. And um, so, I, you know, we can see we've, we've painted and I've put in these recessed lights here. And um, now today, uh, since we've got the floor down, we're ready to put our base cabinets in. And uh, so what we're going to try to do is find the, the highest point in the floor and start from there. And uh, we'll measure up and I'll show, show you how I'm doing that. So uh, all we've got here today is the base cabinet for the sink and the Lazy Susan for the corner. And then we've got another set of drawers to go to the left of the base sink, but uh, we'll get those in another day. But yeah, let's get started uh, figuring out where our highest point is. So I've got my level here and... Uh, what I did was I kind of laid it here and I saw that this area here was higher than over here. So that's higher and then I went over here further with the level and uh, and I kind of looked at it again and I found out that this was actually the highest point right here. So from this point up we measure 34 and a half inches. So somewhere around in here. Let's, let's see where that ends up. So 34 and a half is right here because that's going to be the top of the unfinished cabinet base so from that point you work your way out um, away from it and then shim the lower ones so that's what we're going to do so I had to um, I moved this plumbing because the old plumbing was over here where this block is now but I had to move it over because the edge of the cabinet was going to be you know, not accessible. It would have been behind the other cabinet. So anyway, they had to move it over here, and uh, so that went well. And uh, so it's ready. It's ready for the cabinet. So now I need to take this off, cut this off, and drill a hole in the back of the cabinet and slide it in here and get it up to 34 and a half. But what we've got here is a um, is a little laser level we we got. And uh, the laser level mounts onto the to the wall at the height we need, and uh, you can see it. It puts out a little laser line there, and so I can use this to help figure out where the rest of the cabinet need to go. So I've got my 34 and a half inch mark here, and what I'm going to use is this this laser, and uh, this just kind of pins into the wall, and it uses this. Um, red laser to give you a nice level line across the wall. That's it. So uh, yeah, so from here to there is all one one line and then we can just turn it off and turn it back on when we need it. So that's all set up and now we need to get our base cabinet ready to go in and the, the lazy Susan for the corner. I think we'll start with that first and um, get that up to the line and then get the sink cabinet in and get that going. Well, I've got the Lazy Susan and the sink base cabinet. You know, it's just open underneath for all the plumbing to go in there. And uh, I've got these unpackaged. And next thing for me to do since the the inside of this is open, but the back has a solid piece of wood on it. So I need to drill out a hole enough to fit this plumbing in. Um, so this is going to be a little tricky, but I think we can get it. And uh, probably drill a hole out to get to this clean out right here. Hi, Jake. Yes, hi, Jake. And um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. So let's get some holes drilled.
So I've got my two hole saws here. I measured this. I need about five inches for the, the plumbing parts that I've cut to fit through there. And then I've got a uh, three and a half inch, which is a little too big, but I don't have one that's exactly three inch, but it'll be okay. But uh, these will be perfect for getting in there. So we'll start with the three inch, and I've got my arbor here, and that just, you know, threads on there. You line up the line up the holes on this one and then you tighten up this little nut in the back and now that's ready to go. So let me grab my drill and then um, get these holes in there. What I'm going to do is start with the, the pilot hole and then mark the edge with the saw blade and then I'm going to drill some holes around the edge. It helps the hole saw go in there a little bit easier. So you can see how I kind of scored the outside edge. And uh, I'll tell you what, let me just get another, a different drill bit. So we've got these uh, Milwaukee drill bits are really nice. They have a quarter inch quick connect in them so I can use my impact while I'm using my drill. I'm just going to go around the edge of this just a couple of holes and that'll help the hole saw go right through there. Alright, so let's see if that helps. Now I've got my drill in one to keep it uh, nice and steady. see these holes here allow the sawdust to just kind of work its way around and not get stuck. So now we're going to drill our 5 inch. That's a whole lot of hole saw for a cordless drill but I think it'll do it. See what she can do. see if we can set it in place. All right, we've got our got our base cabinet mounted for the sink and what I did was um, I just I put the center screw in, I ran this up to 34 and a half where it should be, it's right on that line. And then I put the center screw in there, then we leveled the cabinet up like this, and then like this, and we the floor kind of was falling to the center of the room. 
Um, so we ended up having to shim the front of it to get the whole cabinet level, uh, you know, front to back. So we did that, and then we we got it level long ways and went ahead and I had to put shims in behind the screws uh, when we put the uh, screws in for the cabinet, this cabinet. And uh, so we did all that and that worked out great. So then we brought the Lazy Susan uh, up and out and shimmed it all to get it um, perfect with this and clamped it together. So now that we have these two cabinets perfectly aligned and, and everything we, we shimmed, I, I'm now going to go ahead and put some screws in to hold everything together. And I'm going to pre-drill uh, some of these holes so I don't split any wood or it's kind of the back sides are particle board but I want the the tightening action to go you know into the wall and not just turning around a bunch of wood so that's that's it yeah it was actually you know figuring out what we needed to do when and where was the hard part but um but once we got it kind of figured out it wasn't wasn't too bad so we're going to go ahead and get these attached together and in one place and then we've got the other set of shelves to go uh, right here so let's let's go ahead and get some screws in here and I'll start um, I'll start on the face the face here so I've got these clamped together and I, I might go ahead and put put another clamp in right here well let's let's actually it's perfectly fine right now so we're just gonna go ahead and put a screw in there so here we go So I'm figuring, I'm looking up here, the threads on my on my twist drill here need to go almost all the way up to this collar to get all the way through this wood so when I tighten them together I'm not putting any tension on this back piece, I'm only tightening these two together. So need to keep on going. That's perfect. So got that through and I've got my impact drill here and I need a number two square drive if we can find one there's one so I've got my these are just uh, two inch long self drilling cabinet screws that my dad gave me a whole box of uh, that's what I'm using to hold it all together I'm just gonna run those up flush that looks like yeah. well, let's go ahead and get some of these screws in here. I don't know if you can see that. And having the two clamps on the top and the bottom uh, really helps keep everything from spreading apart when you screw them together. screw in there and you can see what I'm doing. So I'll put a screw in here, here, here. It might be overkill, it might be not enough. We're not professionals, we're just kind of doing it. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Alright. We can go ahead and take this top one out. some screws in the back to hold the cabinet to the wall, the lazy Susan to the wall. screws into studs so you got a good bite
checking everything out here. This looks great. That's all good. So double check for level. That's good. And that's perfect. So yeah, that's about it. Um, so there's part of the cabinets. We'll get the other cabinets in here and uh, the drawers and then there's a cabinet that goes over there beside the stove and that'll be it so then we'll be ready to put the countertop on and get everything going back there so thanks for watching and we'll see you next time